the ANC's Veterans League wants TV and film producer Dumagandlovu's name removed from a list of recipients of the Order of Ikamanga. The veterans are concerned about Ndlovu's alleged involvement in state capture. President Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to bestow national orders on several leaders next week, including Ndlovu, for his work in the creative industry. We're now joined by ANC Veterans League Deputy Convener Mavu Sultan Simang. Thank you very much, sir, for your time this afternoon. What seems to be the matter of concern for the Veterans League? Thank you very much for inviting us to, uh, and thanks to two of yours. Uh, hello to them. <clears throat> we, we are really um, august that uh, uh, an order of such a high uh, prestige, of, uh, such a prestigious order, should be awarded to a person who appeared before the Zondo Commission uh, allegedly uh, for having uh, assisted Bain to um, cause the considerable harm that was caused to the South African Revenue Services. And Zondo recommended um, that uh, the person be investigated, be referred for, to the prosecuting authorities uh, for, for that uh, allegation, against that allegation. The thing is, uh, whatever the situation may be, uh, the thing is that a person who is tainted uh, cannot, until they are cleared, be awarded by the president such a prestigious uh, award. It devalues, uh, it diminishes the value of uh, the award to do that. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's actually quite horrible at a time when there is so much corruption in the country that uh, we seem to be so tolerant as to perhaps uh, give somebody who may or may not be guilty the benefit of the doubts to the extent of hurrying off to give him such an honor. Uh, my hope really is that a mistake was made. We have written to the DG in the presidency uh, to ask that uh, the name be withdrawn. Mm. Mr. Mswang, you speak of uh, somebody who is tainted being awarded a prestigious um, award by the president. Um, some sectors of society would argue that while well, we've seen this play itself out within the African National Congress where people that were implicated in state capture managed to ascend to the highest throne of the party structures. Some of them are even in the top seven of the African National Congress. Was this too a mistake? The Veterans League has been absolutely clear that anybody who is tainted should not be uh, in the cabinet, should not be in the top seven, should not be in, in, in the NEC. So it would make sense as if we were comfortable with any such uh, appointments or elections, even where people are elected. It, 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 we will decry that, denounce it, and, and demand that uh, it, uh, it be stopped, it, it be not done. So. There is nothing exceptional about the position we're taking now because uh, it's our stand all the time. We, we, we would really like to see an ANC that is ethical, um, working with competent people for sure, uh, but uh, anything that smacks of corruption should not be associated with the organization at any level. Thank you very much, sir, for your time this afternoon. ANC Veterans League Deputy Convener Mavu Sultan Simang.